Um, okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Um, uh, the purpose of today's session, as you're aware, and I know I've I, I've kind of explained it to a, to to a few of you previously. Uh, the the purpose is to get a bit of a, a feeling from you guys what you want from the uh, the user group. And uh, again, we're going to run a bit of polling later just to get your opinions on 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 some things. Um, but uh, just to make you aware, we're going to record the session today because there are some people who unfortunately can't make it and they've asked us if we can provide a recording of it because there may be some things that, that they want to feed back later, if that's, that's OK. Uh, so without further ado, I will uh, I will begin. OK, so uh, I, I think everybody, with the possible exception of Ashley, probably knows me. Um, we, we, we've all met at various times uh, and, uh, and for Ashley's uh, benefit. My name is Roger Hunt uh, and I'm the Customer Success Manager at, at Flow10. Um, and uh, joining me are uh, Matt, Aidan, Willow and Jane. Uh, if uh, you wanted to quickly say hi, introduce yourselves. Yeah, um, I'm Jane. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah, actually, most of you probably met Aidan and Matt already. So, yeah, I don't think you need to be, I don't think you don't need an introduction to them. But certainly, Jane and Willow, uh, you may not have met. Um, so, uh, but you certainly will be meeting them at the user group if you're able to attend. Guys, yeah, want... sure. So, um, yeah, Jane Squires and Technical Solutions Manager. Um, I think I've met a few of you now, um, obviously via Teams. Um, and if I haven't, I'll meet you face to face at the user group or be in touch in the coming week yeah i'm i'm willow Tonks. um i'm the marketing exec here um i have been in contact with a lot of you um about this session and um about various events um and you will meet me at the user group in may brilliant thanks guys uh so just as a quick um reminder the the, the agenda for today Firstly, just want to remind you about the user group, what what the you know the the purpose of that that session is, um, where it is, and when it is. Um, we'll be providing more details prior to the event anyway, but it's just to make sure you're aware of of what's happening. Um, and the purpose of today's session, as I said, is to uh, gauge your opinion on a number of things. Um, we're going to be using Mentimeter as the polling software, as I mentioned, um, and we'll probably do a little bit of testing beforehand just to make sure that everything works, uh, and then we'll get into uh, the, the the meat of it. Um, so, you know, primarily the stuff that we, we we want to capture, you know, as the slide says, your thoughts on what sort of things um, we should be sharing with you, what kind of information you really want to know about. Um, are you interested in what other customers are doing? That kind of thing. So, um, uh, and we'll be encouraging you if you are willing to participate and maybe even present at the, the user group, we'll be hopefully getting that information during the session today. Um, okay. Uh, any questions on the agenda? Any Anything anybody else feels that we, we should be covering? No, seeing. No, okay, a lot of head shaking. Uh, okay, so um, just as a reminder again of the purpose of the user group, it's um, we've met, we've talked about it before, um, and I don't think we've had doing user groups online and, and as team sessions or webinars. It was great during lockdown. It was a, a fantastic opportunity for us to uh, to do something, but we've always wanted to do a face to face. Um, and the reason for that is to help start to build the Flow10 community. And the, you know, now we've got you know a, quite a large user base uh, with a lot of experience and a lot of people using Flow10 for a wide variety of things. Um, you know, net, it, it's going to be a fantastic opportunity, hopefully, for, for for you to network and to meet other people doing similar things um, and getting you know and maybe. Uh, opportunities to find out how other people are achieving things using the software and help you achieve similar levels of, uh, of functionality. Um, and part of that is about sharing ideas and thoughts. Uh, and we really want to encourage you to talk to 
uh, you know, to, to, to other flow 10 users and come and talk to us. So we want to listen um, and, you know, we, we, we want you to learn from, from the, uh, the session as well. So collaboration, feeding back of ideas, whether that's about the product, features that we should be uh, introducing or enhancing existing features that's you know that, that that's really the purpose and that's the objective of um, certainly a part of, uh, of the day um, and we also want you to have fun um, one of the uh, I think one of the one of the polls uh, one of the poll questions later is uh, you know have you got any ideas for <laughs> for, for having fun on the day not because we can't think of any but um, uh, I'm blaming Jane for that. Uh, so uh, yeah, when, when we come to it, if there are any any things that you think we ought to do um, that that you know you think would be really a beneficial, but but help you get you know more out of the day, then you know we we, we do want to hear. You. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming everybody's aware now of when and where the user group is. Uh, it's on uh, Thursday, the 11th of May, uh, 10 till 4. Uh, and it's being held uh, in the Burroughs Room at uh, the Welcome Collection in London. Uh, there will be signage on the day, Willow tells me, uh, and we'll also have some more instructions before before the the day. So um, don't don't feel you're going to walk in and wander around and get lost. But the photographs I've seen, it looks stunning. Uh, in a, in an incredible location, Matt. Uh, okay, any questions on the, the when and the where? Is there, who, who here can definitely come? Hands up or... Yeah. Is that, is that, will have a mic's on, are people able to? Uh, they're all able, they are just all self-muted. So if you'd like oh, to talk, okay. um, you have to unmute so yourself. If you, do want, if you do want to talk, you might you might need to uh, unmute yourselves. No? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, anyway, well, I hope you can all come. Um, so uh, I'll, I'm going to, I will carry on. So uh the the next few slides this is where we're going to start using mentimeter so uh, as i warned you there's going to be um just a little bit of a uh, an opportunity to test how the polls work um and if you have your phones ready or a, a browser open uh could you uh just for the purposes of this session either go to uh, menti.com and enter the code that you can see on the screen or using the camera on your phone scan the QR code and that'll take you straight to the poll. And if you could let me know uh, when you're done, I think we got three of you in already, four, five, and six. Looks like, looks like everybody's in. So, oh, seven, every, is everybody in Willow, do you think? Looks like it. Brilliant. Okay. You think we've got a what do you think, Willow? There's a Is comment in the chat uh, for, for, from Becky. I don't know if you can see that one. I can't see that, no. Becky I'm on the chat. Becky's still loading. You um let us know once you're in. Okay, Willow, Willow, are you okay dealing with the with the with the chat questions? Is that okay? Yeah. That's fine, I'm, I'm on it. So once you have loaded that page, if you just press the little thumbs up, if you haven't already. Yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got 14 people in, so I think that's. Uh, yep, Becky's in now. Fantastic, okay. Right, I will continue. Uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, the first few, if you can't answer the next two or three, then uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a problem. Uh, so for the first question, if you could just type in your name, please. And the next couple, I'm going to ask you to put in your role and the organisation you work for.
13 so far. Everybody done? Yeah, I think even if you yeah. move on, Roger, they will yeah. still get the opportunity to fill in. Okay, brilliant. Um, okay, so if you could now let us know uh, your role. This all seems to be working too well, Willow. <laughs> Fantastic. So, and then the final one, um, <clears throat> what's the name of your organisation? And then that just uh, helps us to, uh, when we go back over the, um, the, the voting later, we'll, uh, we'll be able to do a bit more analysis of that, won't we? Okay. And then the final one here is um, if you are currently in a project, and I appreciate that some of you may not be, you know, which of you are either at the planning stage of your Flow 10 uh, project journey, who, who of you uh, are currently implementing so we've kind of gone past kickoff and we're now um getting the the um the software set up and you're particularly if you're using knowledge uh creating your pages or if you're using tracker getting the uh the task set up and then if you're piloting particularly tracker uh but but equally if you're doing a limited launch of of knowledge at all Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you very much. Now, thanks for providing that information. So the next one, this is where this is where we're really interested in in your your views. And again, uh, if your mic is muted and you want to uh, ask a question or a shout up, please do. Just unmute yourself and um, and far away. We'll be taking notes. Uh, so don't feel that just answering the poll questions is the, the only way to kind of interact with this. Um, you know, we, we do want to hear from you. Um, so better than just listening to me the whole time. So for the first question, what, and I mentioned it earlier, one of the things we're really keen to do is, again, um, so you on the day you're not just going to be listening to, uh, to, to us at Flow 10 talk to you, we're, you know, if you are inter genuinely interested in in presenting and showcasing um you know something that, that you've achieved using flow 10 whether it's how the project ran uh the the team that you built around the project the successes you've had um and you know if you know if you had challenges how you overcame them if you know if that's something that's of interest then you know please let us know <laughs> a lot of uh, yeah, more more no's than yes so far, but um, and don't don't. I think it's important, don't, Roger. Don't, please don't feel pressured into, uh, into into yes. And obviously we we do only have a limited time on the user group, so I'm glad we haven't got 14, 14 people saying yes. We'd love to present because so that makes certainly that make, makes our job a bit more difficult. Yeah, not to try to change anybody's mind, um, but just so you know, obviously the presenting doesn't, you know, can be at a time frame that's suitable for yourself, you know, so it doesn't have to be a full one hour presentation and it can be on a really small topic. So not necessarily your full implementation, maybe if there was just um, a small section, a small process that um, that you think you've done well or you even if you struggled with at the beginning and now you've achieved it. I think even things like that would be really worth um, everybody else hearing well. Yeah. Brilliant. I think we've got all the responses in to this one that we're, we're going to get. So um, those of you who said yes, 
Uh, Willow, just correct me if I'm wrong, we, we can identify who said yes, so we can yeah. follow that up. Brilliant, thank you. So, yeah, whoever said yes, we'll be in touch. Um, next question is uh, kind of turning it on its head, I guess, uh, you know, who's who would be actually interested in hearing what other uh, ex other other users' experiences um, were? Uh, and I guess one, one of the reasons why we're interested in this is because obviously it, it's going to help us prioritise you know, the, the day a little bit. And I'm glad nobody said no. That would have been very disappointing. <laughs> We've still got a few people who are undecided. We haven't got a not sure. We needed a not sure, um, not sure option. It depends. <laughs> it depends on who it is. <laughs> okay. Um, right. I will proceed. And uh, the next one is uh, really again in terms of uh, we, we, I mentioned this earlier in terms of kind of customer uh, presentation. What which of these you know if you want if you could score them in uh in order of uh you know how you know in the priority you, you'd place on on these um you know which of these would you be most interested in i think you can you can score uh each one in order and if they're and also we've got an other category and this is where you know please do turn your microphone on um and and shout up if there is anything else that you would particularly like to uh, hear showcased. Oh, we have one other. Uh, I'm sorry, I have a question. Um, th this is Justin. Apologize. Um, oh, yeah, I, I'm the. How's it going, Roger? Um, I'm the one that just uh, selected other, and I was thinking that maybe it would um, give me an option to type in what that other might be. Um, but it, but it doesn't. So I I don't mean to be vague, but uh, as of right now, it's just it's other. But uh, yeah, again, I, I like the other things as well. But um, I don't know if there's an opportunity to to highlight another potential uh, valuable topic. I mean, by all means, you know, if you if you want to um, you know have a quick chat about it now, Justin, or if you just wanted to email email me, right. um, well, if there's anything specific. I think to the group, and again, there's no need for an answer. It's just a curious question how other um, firms are handling this uh, as it relates to their intranet. But uh, data management, something that's been a hot topic for Roger and, and the team that's been working um, with, with Cooper Carey, but um, just essentially uh, not just taking advantage of existing data sources, which Flow10 is great at doing, but how to um, continue to harness, you know, I don't want to use the word automate, but uh, ensure that you're not creating yet another source of data in Flow 10, which maybe there's a reason for that, but um, benefiting from, again, all existing sources so that, again, everything's as live as possible. So maybe that's a milestone or maybe that's, you know, it, for me, it's it's a hot topic, but um, I'd be just curious of, uh, you know, data management and, and all that good stuff. Okay. Yep. It's Thanks probably you. worthwhile asking everybody, obviously, who's on, maybe nod your head if that would be of interest. Um, so we know any so data management, yes, yeah. So there's another one on the list. Okay, uh, clearly engaging users, and, and the, I think I think we could probably guess at the outset that that was going to be a hot topic. Um, and uh, yeah, certainly in terms of how other customers, other users have gone about doing that um, and, and helping to build communities and uh, you know, within Flow 10, it's going to be, you know, I think that's going to be a really interesting topic on the day. Um, thank you for that. Um, anything, anybody got anything, anything else that they think we ought to be covering before I move on to the next set of slides? No. Okay. I will. Uh, I'll move on. Um, so the next uh, the next set of slides is about um, sharing sharing of knowledge. Um, and again, this is more about this sort of uh, an open discussion across uh, you know, on the day. So it might not be a presentation necessarily, but maybe 
small uh, workshops around tables with specific topics. Um, and these are the, the, the kind of things that we anticipate are going to be, would be of interest. Uh, I know those of you have had kickoff meetings recently or uh, particularly around knowledge management um, and use of tracker, things like how do we change the culture of the business to, um, uh, you know, to, 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 to make real value, uh, to, to get great value out of Flow 10, you know, what is best practice, all of these things. So, um, yeah, as, as before, please fire away and score these in, in order of your particular priority. Again, if there's anything else, obviously these are just some topics that we've selected. Is that, if there's anything else, speak up. Um, so we'll get that recorded as well. Yeah, most of these topics are the kind of things that typically will come up um, in either either get they'll either be driven out as a just just as a matter of course during a project or raised specifically during a meeting. So. Um, you know, we, you know we're, we're, we're conscious that these things are already um, kind of, uh, at the, the front of your minds anyway. So, okay. Just give it another, another 15 seconds if anybody's got anything else, but I think we've had, I think we've had most people feedback now. Okay. Again, yeah, shout up if there's anything else, as Jane said, if there's anything else. Um, if you don't want to shout up during this session, please do just email us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Roger, did you hear me? Um, I was just thinking, I'm not sure which one it might fit into, but potentially discussing what software other users are integrating with. Yeah. All the policies. Yeah. Got a note of that. Thank you. Thanks. Any 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 other thoughts? No? Please also feel free to type in the chat if, if you just yeah. you know, turn your mic on. <laughs> That's fine also. I'm looking at that as well. So the next slide, unsurprisingly, uh or the next the next the next question is more about the product focus. Um and you those of you who have been to to our online user groups will know uh, that you know we're, we're obviously very keen to uh, give you um, advanced knowledge of new product that we're working on, new features that we want to introduce, um, and also uh, the, the, the the things that are out in the latest version. But what's what's our roadmap for for the next year? Um, so of these five options, again, could you score them in? Uh, you, you know, in the kind of rank you, you're most interested in. So again, some of these things could be, um, say, Aidan or one of the team standing up and talking about specific this the, the roadmap specifically but we could in theory uh, depending on how the, how the room uh works out have smaller groups that could look at very specific things that are related to the products that you've got so maybe doing demonstrations and things like that so um if that would be valuable then let us know are there any other things that people might want to know about the product or do you think we've covered covered all the, the kind of key aspects? Yep, looks like it. Okay, thank you. And I think we're getting quite close to the end. Um, and this is, uh, I guess, this is the um, the, the the bit that um, we you know in terms of what things are you most interested in so uh in in sharing so 
we, we could talk about the product and that's absolutely fine we'd expect to do that but um we also want to hear your thoughts and ideas on um either adopting new features things that you might want to see and i know that pards you've probably got a hat full of things you'd like to see um and gavin as well uh you know so we, we you, know, you guys are quite keen to give us ideas for for the product um in terms of sharing that and discussing it with the wider group to see you know what uh, who else might be interested in those kind of things you know that, would that be would that be of interest and equally enhancing existing stuff and i think that the poll is quite clear that it's both um so uh so whether we do that into small, so my mic small group oh, oh yes Kevin. yeah your mic's on yeah Hi, sorry. Um, yeah, I was just going to say that some sort of uh, voting forum might be useful if we knew what features other customers were, were looking at. I think we've touched on this in private chats before. Yeah, yeah. I think what, one of the reasons why we're why we're, we're, we're trialing this Mentimeter polling thing today, Gavin, so we can we can use it for that that very purpose. I think, I think that's certainly the intention, isn't it? Yeah. Thank. Thank. Yeah. That's no that's good. Good. Good point, Gavin. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Okay. Now I did mention I did, I did use the the, the 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 F word fun. Um, anybody and again I you know I'm conscious that maybe not everybody wants to to shout up, uh, but if your microphone is on and you're feeling brave, um, do, you know has anybody got any ideas? Any anything else other than you know, the things that we've discussed, the ideas and topics that we've we've put forward. That, any other things that you'd really like to see us cover? Any activities that you think would be useful on the day? And if they're fun, then... That, yeah, that can even be, obviously, if you've been to other user groups, sometimes you come away from a user group and it might be some, I'm going to say game, um, but, you know, something that you did during that and actually makes you remember that it was relevant um, to the day. Um, but sometimes just there was something that you did that you actually really enjoyed because we're obviously really conscious that you don't, um, I'm sure we don't want to either, sit for six hours and where you're just listening. So obviously um, any ideas at all would be really welcome. You can type those in as an answer on the app. Uh, in the chat, or you can just join us and uh, let us know via your voice. Yeah, so the, the floor's open. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to start getting some images of wine glasses or beer bottles. <laughs> <laughs> there will be food and drink. That, that bit's for sure. Yeah. No, everybody's very quiet. Yeah, you know, the only thing I would add, it's, I don't know how fun it would be, it's just it, whether we're getting certain topics, we can just brainstorm them together in certain areas because it's not until people open up about what's really happening within their practices with some examples that we can kind of whiteboard things. Um, that's not so much the fun bit, it was more just, I suppose, but when we know more about the topic areas, maybe on the day, we could do do some of that. Okay. Again, you know, if you if you think of something after today's session, then just please do email us. Um, that you'd probably be pleased to hear is the end of the polling uh at the end of the questions um so uh so in closing um just to let you know what the next steps are uh as i mentioned right at the start we have been recording this session so if you you know if you do want to see it again i'm, I'm not sure how we're going to circulate it but we will somehow circulate it um so you know if you do want to uh, listen back to any of them please do as a reminder, the user group itself is on the 11th of May in London at the Welcome Collection. Uh, and beyond that, um, uh, well, not beyond the, the user group, but certainly beyond today, we've got um, a webinar um, with uh, Gavin uh, from PLP 
uh, here on the 26th of April. It's about um, uh, it's titled Where Knowledge Meets Process. Uh, and if you want to get details of it, that QR code on the screen is, is active. So um, that should take you to uh, the relevant page with the information you need. Um, and we'd be really pleased if you could join us for that. I'll, I'll leave this on. Get a chance to scan it now um, because obviously we will be circulating this, so you can always yeah, yeah. Uh, from your copy. I'll, just, I'll leave it on screen just for another uh, another few seconds if anybody wants to use it, and then I will skip on. Okay. Uh, also. Seventeenth uh, to the eighteenth of May, so the week following the user group, we are going to be at Digital Construction Week. Um, I, I know Matt's going to be there and a couple of other guys um, from the team. So please, if you're there, please do come along, say hello. Um, love to love to see you. Um, is anybody anybody planning on being at um, DCW this year? Gavin, do you have a stall there? Yeah, I yeah. think we do. Yeah, we do, don't we? Yeah, we've got a got a presence, Matt. Yeah, uh, Stan D five eighty, as it says on the screen. Um, yeah. And yeah, we will be there both days, all day. Um, should you come along and see us? Brilliant. We should have, we should have had a poll on here. Who's coming to DC? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the uh, the final slide. So uh, thank you very much for. Uh, for listening and for your contribution. Um, I think the technology held up. Um, uh, has anybody got anything before we wrap up? Is there anything anybody else would like to uh, to ask or mention? No? Okay, then with that, uh, we'll wrap um, things up. Oh. Sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the actual um, event, but afterwards, is there going to be some kind of, um, I don't know, document with everything that was discussed? And I don't know, how are you going to present the ideas afterwards? That's a good question. Um, obviously, it being a, a live event, I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to record the whole thing, um, but yeah. we'll certainly be some output from it, I would, I would expect. Okay, cool. Yeah, more than happy to write a summary um, of sort of the key points discussed um, and um, feed that back to everyone who wasn't able to make it, um, especially when it comes to a product roadmap and things like that, um, or, or particular points that, that were sort of hotly debated on the day. Um, I will summarise and send that over. Fantastic. And we, we managed to do it in under the hour, so. Um... I think I've got you. I've got you all 23 minutes of your day back. <laughs> so thanks, thanks very much for your time. Unless anybody's got anything else, we'll 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 wrap it up there. That's fantastic. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks for joining us. And um, I'm sure we'll be some of us will be seeing some of you beforehand. But uh, look forward to meeting those of you who can attend. And uh, we'll be looking forward to meeting you in person at the user group. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for your time. Everyone, thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. See ya.